Ex-cons of Reddit, what's the most terrifying thing you saw inside of prison? A guy got stomped to death my first day in. The two guys fighting were rival gang members. The guards didn't do anything until the guy getting stomped stopped breathing. Then they came in and took them both away. One in a bag and one in cuffs. I saw someone take a hot pot, fill it up with baby oil, add a pound of sugar, add some magic shave, bring it to a boil then splash it in a person's face. It literally melted the guy's face off. This happened around 1999, and I still have the occasional nightmare about it. Dude in the cell next to mine tried to kill himself with a sharpened pencil. He just kept stabbing himself in the chest, but couldn't get deep enough. He was hauled off by correction officers kicking and screaming, begging for death. He was going to be deported. I saw one guy get his face smashed in with a Baxi ball as retaliation for being called out in front of the yard for an unpaid chocolate bar debt. And another guy got a razor blade slashed to the face, presumably over a beef, carried over from the street. Relayed by a friend. But he said the craziest thing about prison is how you inevitably meet someone who is more psychotic slash sociopathic than the next guy. You think you've seen it, met some bad dudes on the streets, but there's always a bigger fish. Not me, but my dad went to prison at 20. He walked into his cell one day and his cellmate was hanging. He cut him down and did CPR. His cellmate was furious. Told him that he'd mind his business next time if he knew what was good for him. Guy unalived himself a few days later. My brother said a guy across from him had a new cellmate who had gastrointestinal problems and wouldn't stop farting these rancid horrible farts after the guy told him repeatedly to stop, not like he could help it, so the guy beat the farter to death in their cell with his bare hands. My brother said he had never seen so much blood from one person before. I was in a South American prison, there was a lot of drug addicts, they usually sold their food in order to buy more drugs, so they were always hungry. One day I was eating my lunch, rice, a leg of chicken and some beans. When I finished my meal there were some chicken bones left in my plate, and a drug addict approached me to ask if I could gift him the chicken bones. So I lent him my bones and he started eating them. It was heartbreaking. I was held without bail in county jail for two weeks. We get to watch TV during recreation. We were watching the news one day, and this guy was arrested for killing a judge's brother by stabbing. He was a mean looking skinhead with neck and face tats. Next day, he's now in my cell block looking extremely on edge. Turns out, the guy he killed sexually assaulted a female member of his family. Although said to get a prison sentence, he killed for his family's honor. In a similar thread, I remember a response about hearing inmates grind their shivs all night before a riot, knowing you'd be fighting for your life soon. Brixton. Coming back from canteen this scary looking wild eyed dude steps across and tells me to hand over my burn slash tobacco. I laugh and say no and walk by, waiting for him to do something. Nothing happened. Few minutes later, same guy opened some poor lad's stomach with one slash, and he was lying there trying to hold his intestines in, I saw the fear and panic on his face. The scary guy just casually walked away. No idea what happened to either of them. Alarms went off. Everyone back to their cells, and locked up again. I did a 4 month stint in Kajang, Malaysia. This Nigerian dude used to pilfer from other cells. This Malay gang found him and dipped his hand in boiling oil, basically deep fried it while it was still attached to him. That scream, it still curdles my blood. Poor guy was reduced to an unconscious pool of blood, sweat, tears, vomit, shit and piss. He lost more than his hand on that day. The most terrifying thing I saw was my own transformation. Went in on a lame charge, being a productive young person going to school to be a doctor. Left running the biggest sports book in the prison and helping move drugs in and around the prison. I'll learn how to package and sell drugs which till this day I've never done any of. Also inadvertently got a lot of dudes beat up for not paying their debts. As one day from the second balcony of our block. She broke her neck, didn't make it, and it took almost 10 minutes for a guard to even show up. Thanks for watching the video. For more content like this. 
Please subscribe, like, and share the video and push the notification button.